What's going on YouTube? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, don't kill me. I know it's been a long time. I haven't made a video. So if you didn't know, I've been getting dominated uh, by my account. Oh, that thing kind of fell in the back there. You guys see that? I gotta fix that. But one of my coaches is putting me through hell. Okay, so I've been a little bit preoccupied, but I'm gonna be talking about Dogecoin. We're gonna be talking about this situation with uh, GameStop and all the stock market and stuff like that and all those details. Um, but before we get started, guys, if you haven't already subscribed to the number one cryptocurrency channel, it's probably not the number one right now. I've been slacking a little bit, but my goal is to pump them out. We just hired another video editor. I hired four new coaches to take over some of my responsibilities. So I'm gonna try to daily upload from here, you know, this point out. I'm gonna just stay consistent as I possibly can to get you guys this valuable knowledge. Um, because guys, it's just, we, almost every single coin I pick is in profit. If you're not making money in this market right now, on, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. you know, I feel bad for you. Also, another important announcement. I actually got something really cool. I got some shirts. I got some shirts coming in here. I'm gonna show you exactly the shirts. This thing is really cool, but I kind of have to levitate real quick. So basically, this has the blockchain logo right here, okay? You got the, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind, right? So basically it has the strong cut right here. So you can get, you know, you get a look, look a little swole, right? And then it has a V-shaped look. So the bottom's tailored. Plus this basically washes like thousands of times. So without like, you know, fading and stuff like that. So this is like a kind of quality shirt that you guys can use. I didn't want it to be like really corny, right? Like a lot of people just put some like a corny shirt out. This is something you can take to the club. Uh, this is something that you can go on like a hundred mile run, probably not a hundred miles, but like here, let me step outside and let's talk about some Dogecoin stuff. Okay. That's what you guys are here for. So Dogecoin. Okay. If you guys didn't know, I am actually proud and you're going to laugh. I'm a proud person uh, for never buying Dogecoin. I am literally proud about that because it's basically, it's not a scam, but it's the closest thing to a scam you could possibly get. It's a meme coin. It's a coin made as a joke. Okay. Now it's like almost top 10 right now, I think, from my understanding. I really don't care. I don't, I don't I'm not looking to look into it and stuff. Um, but I'll talk about the situation, what's going on, uh, so and the reasons why it probably pumped, uh, from my understanding. Um, and then we'll go into that. So you guys understand how to stay away from a scam and not get dumped on. I'm getting a ridiculous amount of messages of people asking me, should they buy Dogecoin? Should they jump on Dogecoin? It's beautiful outside, by the way. The sun's out and it's like 65 degrees. If you're not in Florida, I don't even know what you're doing. <laughs> no, nah, but just, just kidding. But seriously, guys, stop FOMOing, okay? Stop taking people's word, you know, as like set in stone, right? Do your own research. Understand it yourself. Make your own decisions. This is what we preach on this channel. And this is a perfect example of that, right? I want you guys, if you haven't already done this, go on CoinMarketCap and look into the history of other cryptocurrencies and other altcoin seasons, right? 95% of those coins are not here right now, right? They're not even here. So what does that mean? That means that 95% of the coins currently that you guys think are strong projects and you're throwing your hard earned cash into that you worked your butt off for, right? I had a person the other day talk about like putting 30 grand in VeChain, like what do you, okay. Just understand that most of them are not gonna be here. Okay, the ones that are guaranteed probably gonna be here are like top five most of the time. Um, and some of them not, like Tether's a scam, right? We all know Tether's a scam, Bitcoin Cash, pretty much a scam, Bitcoin SV. You guys should know of these. If you don't know, there's something wrong, right? You're not investing the proper way. So I just wanna be very clear with everybody, right? Um, so back to the Dogecoin situation. Yes, there could be coins that are scams or that are not valuable, right? They're complete, like they're just, it's just a meme that pumps 500, 600% and it's worth nothing. And it, just as fast as it goes up, it's gonna fall equally as fast. So I'm gonna start from kind of the top and from what I saw going on, uh, we'll go, it's not gonna be extremely specific because it was just a little story. So as, if you guys don't know what happened, essentially there's this uh, Reddit form, uh, it's pretty popular called Wall Street Bets. So Wall Street Bets uh, jumped in, you know, started, I guess, trying to uh, short squeeze they basically short squeezed uh, GameStop. This is just one situation. There was a couple of other companies uh, that blew up in profit as well. So essentially, I'm not gonna dive too deep into that because I know it can get a little complicated for most people. They don't, they don't know what um, a long and short is. Uh, but a very simply put, essentially, there were some hedge funds that were trying to push the price of GameStop down, right? And, and the reason, because it's becoming obsolete, like GameStop, no one really uses it anymore. Personally, when I buy my games, I'm buying it like online, the digital version. I don't really go into GameStop. I buy it on Amazon like if I want a controller or something. So it's becoming obsolete. The fundamentals suck pretty much. 
Uh, so they got these hedge funds trying to push the price of the, the company down uh, all at once simultaneously, from my understanding. So Wall Street Bets got into the mix and they short squeezed them. So essentially they bought a whole bunch, right? Shooting the price up. I think it was like 130% or something like that. And it went viral. Everybody was going crazy. They were like, wow, like retail investors are fighting back. They're fighting back um, as institutions, right? Um, they're, they're actually becoming relevant. They know what they're doing now. And it's because, um, from my understanding, in the world, we have access to all the same tools. Back in the day, quant hedge funds and stuff like that, they have like super powerful computers and you can't really compete with them, right? And hedge funds, you can't really compete with them. They got too much money. But now they're getting together, right? With, uh, uh, in this case, Wall Street Bets and Reddit, and they're fighting back. And that wasn't the controversial part. The controversial part was that there was a lot of uh, exchanges, including one of the biggest ones, Robinhood, that literally halted investing for the, the coins that were quote unquote manipulated, right? So this is where manipulation at its finest. This is where centralized intermediaries are the issue, right? I keep telling you guys, decentralization is the new future because no one can control it. It's a free market. It's a free market. You got all these guys coming out the woodwork saying, oh, it's manipulation. These guys were just trying to manipulate hedge funds. They were taking advantage of hedge fund. Where, where, does that even sound normal? Let me ask you guys that question. Does that sound normal? They're trying to manipulate hedge funds. This is, this is the good lighting right here. They're trying to manipulate hedge funds. Man, hedge funds have been manipulating people for like since it started. That's the point. If you guys don't understand the market, right? If you believe that, think, right? Just think a little bit. How does this money game work? If you didn't understand this concept, you need to take your money out of cryptocurrency. But this is how the, this is how the money flows. Essentially, trading is a zero sum game. Okay, it's zero sum. And what does that mean? That means there's no value creation when you trade from point A to B. There's no innovation, there's no product. Essentially, the only thing you're doing is you're snatching money away from somebody else. When there's a winner, there has to be a lose, loser. Zero sum game, right? And who has been consistently the winners since like the history of finance? People with a lot of money can manipulate the market and snatch the bags away from people with less money. Okay, understand this. This is very, this is facts. This is facts. And they've been doing it for a very long time. You got banks manipulating people, right? You have funds, of course, manipulating people. You have rich people manipulating people, right? You have governments manipulating people. 2008 financial crisis, they got bailed out. Uh, right now, currently, you could even say the government's manipulating people by printing all this money and giving the mass majority to corporate, you know, uh, uh, bailouts, uh, corporate buybacks. They're giving it to... Uh, there's so many issues in the financial system. It is controlled, essentially. It's controlled. And this is the perfect, perfect representation of that. As soon as the hedge funds start losing in a fair battle, this is a fair battle, by the way. I'm just telling you guys the truth. This is fair. We see it all the time. If it wasn't Wall Street bets and it was like a hedge fund against another hedge fund, we wouldn't. this wouldn't even be in the news right now. It would be normal, right? But just because retail investors got together and attacked back they controlled the price, they manipulated, they slowed down trading. They're not allowing uh, people to buy that much GameStop, uh, GameStop, GameStop, uh, GameStop uh, stock anymore, right, GME. They're not allowing anyone to, to trade. They even halted it at one point, right? And the reason they're doing that is because they're trying to give the hedge fund some room to breathe, right? Because they would have lost, I think I read some article, uh, they lost like $3 billion or something like that. So if they didn't do this, they would have lost mass, mass a lot more. Um, so this is centralized control of its finest. Had this been on a decentralized exchange, there would be no possible way for anybody to ever manipulate this. There would be no possible way for them to halt trading. Uh, it would have went to the oblivion. Like the GameStop stock would have went <laughs> so high. Um, so yeah, uh, if you guys don't understand the difference between like a centralized trading desk and a decentralized trading uh, platform like Uniswap, uh, essentially the difference is very easy, right? The centralized version has intermediaries. And what that means is that there's people that call the shots and make the decisions, right? So if they feel like, I don't know, stopping trading for whatever reason, because their friend's losing money, they could do that. With Uniswap, it's an automated market maker, meaning no one controls it, no one can stop it, and essentially the trading must go on always, no matter what, unless like somebody takes down the website and manipulates it or attacks it or something, that's a different story. But, it, but nobody can actually make the decision to stop it, okay? And that's the beauty of decentralized finance. We're getting into a new 
guys, Bitcoin's going to 40K right now, right? Things are happening. The world's changing. People are starting to wake up. They're getting smarter. Everybody's jumping into finance and under realizing this manipulation has been happening for such a long time under their noses without them even knowing. Think about it. Did you learn any finance in school? They taught you nothing. They talk, taught you nothing. And now they're rigging the game uh, for themselves. Uh, so just be very careful. Now about the Dogecoin news. So we get manipulation over there, whatever. Now Wall Street bets turns their, uh, they aims their control over to Do Dogecoin and Dogecoin goes up like 200% in a day on the same day uh, of Walsh, of uh, you know GameStop and everything like that. Um, I don't know why they did it. <laughs> I have no idea why. Maybe it's just like a way to get into you know crypto, whatever the case is. Um, but it's a meme, guys. It's a, it's a joke. The coin was originally made as a joke. It's a joke coin. It's a meme, joke, meme. Let me say it again. Joke, meme, coin. So if you made money off of that, great. You know, sell it. Sell it. Let it go. Because there's no fundamentals behind it. This can crash as quick as it went up right it can go straight to the bottom right i think elon musk like tweeted about it or something like that this could go to zero understand that this has no inherent value at all i know some people might have made money or whatever the case is um but i'm again like i said proud that i've never purchased Do dogecoin in my life and this is how badly i feel about things like this because it's sad when someone that's like a real manipulation right there when, when someone doesn't know what's going on they, they buy things just because they pump they try to momentum trade and they lose all their money right um in this case you know small people are getting taken advantage <laughs> for sure uh, in the other case obviously the hedge funds were you know they've been hedge funds have been taking advantage of people for a long time it's their turn right um I, that's actually that's just my opinion i guess you can say but no dogecoin is not a good coin to buy just because a coin pumps doesn't mean you should be buying it actually con on the contrary i i guys guys when i look for a coin to buy i'm looking for losers <laughs> Don't do the. I don't understand why people they look at like the top uh, on Coin Gecko or Coin Market Cap, the top pumping coins, and then just buy them. It doesn't make sense. It's the dumbest thing you could possibly do. You're buying into somebody else's bag. Do the opposite. You want to find things that lost money, that have the potential to pump, that have strong fundamentals. You want to be one step ahead. You don't want to be behind them. You don't want to be behind them, guys. That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. You guys leave a comment in the description below. Let me know what you like. If you got some Dogecoin. Uh, and you made some nice profits, uh, kudos to you. I'm happy for you. But to be honest, those profits I've been making for a long time. I don't need Dogecoin to make those profits. Some of the coins, like literally every single coin I've called in the past like two months are up 3X, 4X. I'm good. I am so good. Last night in our live Q&A, I called Bitcoin dominance taking over. I'm up like 12% on that. That's actually not me. It was like a, con a, contri a contribution of my coaches. We call it that. We're up like 12%. That's big boy money. That's that's not Dogecoin money. That's like we have half a I have a half million dollars in like uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin. That's that's what we're talking about there. Um, so massive. I probably made I made a lot of money on that one. Um, then we have you know uh, some altcoins that we called uh, Uniswap. I told you guys on the channel to buy Uniswap. That was 5x since I told you. Uh, obviously, it's not financial advice, but 5x. Come on. I mean, Dogecoin, it's cool. It went up like 7x in a day, but it's like, you're gambling, right? I can show you a whole bunch of options that you can gamble on, right? Uniswap was a strong play. We knew it was going to go up and Uniswap's not going to zero. It's the biggest decentralized exchange in DeFi. It's not going to zero. It's safe. You can rest, you know, comfortably at night knowing that your money's not going to go to zero. These are the plays. This is real investing. Are you a gambler? Or are you investor, right? What are some other coins that we called on this channel? I forgot, man. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I looked at my portfolio. Every single coin I have purchased is in profit. I'm not trying to sit here and say I'm perfect. I'm just saying. I got a, I got scammed a couple of times, but the vast majority of them, 95%, we're making money. And if you're not making money, there's an issue there. You need to step back, do some research, recalculate and establish, I don't know, your strategy or whatever the case is. And yeah, the shirts are not out yet. We're, we're almost done with the website. We're gonna get the website out very soon. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, and I promise I'm coming out with more videos. If you don't get with this technology, you will get left behind. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Catch you in the next one.